much cool to it would look yeah to paint it black and everything like oh hello oh hello i didn't expect to see you here <laughs> sorry we were just discussing some stuff uh hello everyone and uh, welcome to the latest installment of thursday night normal guy supercar live uh already we have a question first question has to be how is meg well meg is fine uh, she is actually not here. She is at her parents' house right now. I don't remember exactly doing what, but she said her dad needed her to come over for some reason, so she did. So they need a timer like the dogs to. Well, you know, we were. It's not that it starts automatically. I do actually click the button to start it, so it's not like it starts automatically at eight o'clock. We were just discussing, and I said, "Oh, we're going to go live," and we kept yeah. discussing because important you know, business things. Business things, sure. We'll t we'll go with that. Anyway, uh, how is everyone? Uh, everyone doing well? Hopefully, <laughs> we are doing okay. It's been a long week. Long week, and it's only Thursday. <sighs> yes. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> oh, hello, Rachel. Um, yeah, we were up in Ohio this weekend. And then just got back Monday night. No, we got back Tuesday, Tuesday night. Jeez, yeah. I can't even remember. I'm still yawning. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Carrie, Rachel. Oh, speaking of Ohio, there's my dad, Carrie, is here. <laughs> Kept like telling me not to ruin my appetite while I was at his house. Oh, Carrie, by the way, I just remembered this today. I accidentally left my pizza in your downstairs fridge, so you might want to get rid of that before that turns into a science experiment. Just yeah, saying. yeah, that's right. Um, but Carrie was a gracious host. Thank you, Carrie. We stayed at his house for the Ohio trip to pick up uh, the, a the car, the car, which uh, is now in Adam's garage. It is. But uh, there's an imposter. Yeah. You got all sorts of stuff. You got the project car and the oh wait, the boat's not there. Yeah, anymore. the boat's not there anymore. That's right. Yeah. yeah, we left on Saturday. Yeah, we got back on Tuesday. Yeah, originally we were gonna leave on Sunday, and then the car. So the owner of the car, and you'll you'll see in the video we talk about this. The video comes out Saturday. Um, this but, Saturday? Uh, like in, yeah, in like two days. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, we we were supposed to come up on Sunday and then pick up Monday, but the owner was pulling it out of storage, driving it home to his house, and then the car just wigged out and stopped running properly. Mousetrap. Mousetrap. You, you, you're way too kind. Thank you. I like that guy. Turn your hat backwards and ugh. <laughs> so Adam doesn't like peach pie. What about blueberry? Blueberry I've got, pie is good. Ooh. I've got a new lattice pie crust I want to try. Oh, and fry is great. Cars and boats. Yay. <laughs> hey, we polished the hell out of the boat. And we're not done yet, but it's actually looking nice now. It's not embarrassing. <laughs> it's no longer pink. So that's good. Uh, so you'll have to go for a ride. How are you guys? I'm well. Thank you for asking. How are you, Adam? I'm good. Yeah. My nose has stopped up a little bit for some reason. I thought that was an Indiana thing because of the whatever. But other than that, I'm great. Can you guys mod his Turbo Porsche? I would love to see that thing hit 800 horsepower. I would too. <laughs> He's My like, car is already a 458 killer, though. Oh, whatever. It was not. <laughs> I mean, I'm down for it, but he's all like... I don't want to blow up my car. And I'm like, come on. I like it the way it is. I, I could get know. another project. Hey, one. People are always like, do this or that to your Corvette. I'm like, no. I hear you. But, you know, we could do it with a, like a project car. Like, once the 509 finally gets done in sales, we could, you know, yeah. do something nuts. Hi, Brazil. That's cool. I'm watching all of your videos. Well, that's a lot of videos. I am, I am sorry. <laughs> it's going to take you a while. The great uh, thing is if you go back, I did this the other day, is I went back like as far back as his videos went, and like you watch one from like every couple of months, and you can see like the changes and the uh, quality get better and the hair loss go. <laughs> <laughs> I, did I, I may have still had hair when we first started. You had more than you have now. Oh, yeah, there's nothing left. It's gone. 
Uh, have you seen the new Lotus Amira or Mira? What do y'all think of it? Not really. I haven't I looked that much. It. I really, I am not a big Lotus person. I just, I don't know. They never really did it for me. Let me, let me look it up. Okay. I mean, I've seen pictures of it. It looks cool, but I just have zero interest in owning a Lotus because Lotus. Well, you know what Lotus stands for, right, Internet? Yes, everyone does. Let someone figure it out. What, I'm sure someone knows what it is. Oh, dude, that thing looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it looks really good. Dude, that is awesome. I just don't know any of the details about it, and it's a Lotus. That hood scoop is gnarly. I don't know anything about this car, whoever had asked, but this thing looks amazing. Let's see. So you're saying he's not all in with the YouTube channel. Mod that Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We will mod a Porsche eventually. The only good Lotus was the one in Pretty Woman. Was it a Lotus? I've never seen that movie. What? Okay. <laughs> it's a good movie. Uh, you need a bigger property with all your new toys. I agree. I Megan and I were... His bigger property is my property. You just keep throwing them all at my place. <laughs> just for now. <laughs> Someday I'll get a bigger property. So where are the rest of your buddies? Loper, missing in action. Richard, missing in action. Fred, missing in action. So Loper is dead to us still since he didn't go to Colorado last yeah, year. Yeah, kind of. I don't know. Like they, they haven't texted me or anything in forever. And I mean, I'm doing stuff all the time, so I don't know. Uh, actually, I did talk to Richard um, just the other day. And he was like, hey, we need to go out on that boat. <laughs> and I was like, yes, we do. He's like an actual captain, though. Like, he knows oh, yeah, he knows, he knows how to do boat yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And then Fred, I chat to Fred pretty frequently. But, you know, he's, he's in California. So, like, we don't actually see Fred in person all that often. So, But I don't know. I think everyone's just busy. Um, it's summertime. It's too. summer, yeah. People go out. Like they it's... Have, you know, they have kids. Like, Loper's got two kids. Richard's got a kid. Fred has Fred. Fred is Fred. <laughs> I like guess after eight, and it's still completely bright outside. Yeah, so, so people are doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, Tony Stromboli, howdy. Hello. Stop saying the L word. <laughs> Lotus. Does that make you upset? Why are used Ferraris going up in price by twenty to thirty thousand dollars? Because the entire market is on drugs right now. I mean, the why is. The, there's more demand than supply, right? So it's a simple economics equation. If you have too much uh, demand and not enough supply, prices go up. So why is there too much demand is, I guess, the bigger question. I think a lot of people uh, didn't take trips. It's like wealthy people that normally would be taking vacations and spending money on other stuff were bored at home. They're like, you know what sounds like a good idea? I should buy a Ferrari because now I'm sitting at home. Um, but the same thing happened with all like used cars are just crazy right now like so what was that meme was like uh like it was like increase in value of like all these different stocks over the last year it was like if you had bought this stock this is how much you have oh, right now i haven't seen it oh it's funny <laughs> there's i think meg maybe should i don't remember anyway someone showed me it's like if you'd bought like this stock today you'd have like this much money and then this stock and this much money and at the bottom was like if you had bought a toyota camry <laughs> a year ago this is how much money you'd have and it like beat all the stocks <laughs> it was hilarious was like, that's true anyway the manual exchange is in work yeah the car is actually uh being worked on here and there so yes yep. best option lotus ever julia roberts in the passenger seat <laughs> yes i would agree with that so wait until next year for a used 48 Spider. I mean, the problem is we don't know if the prices are going to stay up or if they're going to come back down. If they are going, and if they are going to come back down, when? It could be a year. It could be three years. Could be never. We don't know. So, ah, uh -huh. yeah. Pretty Woman equals Lotus Esprit, like in the Bond movie. Yeah, the weird, like really wedged Lotus. Hey Dan, when you think, when you. Th when you, you think, think, yeah, going to be the best time to buy a Ferrari 360, I think. Uh, Never, buy a 430. Three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think they hit the bottom. They are, uh, they're coming up, and I don't think they're going to come back down. I think, uh, so arguably now is the best time, because I think the prices on 360s are just going to keep going up. Um, but that being said, 
I personally am not a big 360 fan. I would rather have a 430. Uh, $10,000 Dogecoin went to $2 million. Yeah, well. Funny you say that. I, in my expert investment uh, <laughs> ability, you know, knocked it out of the park. I turned two hundred dollars of Dogecoin into a cool eighty nine dollars and seventeen cents. Did you cash out? No. Oh, you Why? Still... I'm just gonna let it ride. Yeah, let it ride. See what happens. Maybe I'll. Maybe in ten years it'll do what uh, Bitcoin did, and then I'll be able to cash out and be able to buy all the cars that I want and mod them all. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Might the five nine nine be done by the Colorado trip? I know someone who could drive it. <laughs> Gabe. Gabe. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be done by then. Um, That's the, what he said last year, though. I mean, I thought it was going to be done every month for the last 10 months. So I don't know. Uh, I, I don't want to predict anything. But there's a reasonable possibility it'll be done in that time frame. Uh, the catch is if it gets done by then, would I have sold it before the Colorado trip or not? So, yeah, uh, you are a financial guru. Ah, I'm a guru of some kind. I don't know that I would say it's a good kind of guru, though. <laughs> How do you like the 599, F12, etc. GT Ferraris? I personally don't like the GT cars as much. I am just not a GT car fan as much as more of the traditional sports car. So... That being said, they are very nice cars. They drive very nice. Um, they're very, very comfortable, more so than the uh, you know 458 or 488s or any of the mid engines. So, you know, I think the um, the V12 certainly makes it appealing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't you know. Can't I, really compare them though. They're yeah, they're totally different. Different. Yeah. totally different. Yeah, totally different cars. Totally different handling different characteristics about it um it feel more like a muscle car like the the f12 is like you know you hear everyone say they joke about oh the f12 is trying to kill you it really is like that car is scary it um driving it without traction control would be very scary and uh, yeah you'd really have to be comfortable with that car to do that especially if it was like at any sort of like adverse weather conditions um, but yeah, that's just me. It's not to say that they're bad cars in any way. They're amazing cars. I just don't really care for them. Uh, how do you think the electric car market is going? It seems no one is buying into the market hype. I, I don't know. Say that. I would say it's going pretty good. Like, yeah, there's tons of new cars entering the electric market. And unless you're talking about hybrid, but, uh, electric cars seem to be selling good. I just, I don't think they're saying like, Someone who's like wanting a Ferrari isn't really saying, oh, maybe I should buy a Tesla instead of a Ferrari. Like they're not, you know, yeah, it's not the same thing. So, I mean, I would love to have an electric car for driving to Commuting. work. Yeah. yeah, like if I had a commute still, I would totally do that. Thoughts on the Ford Mach-E? I think they look great. Um, I, the only thing is I wish that they would not have used the horse. Yeah, they, they shouldn't have called it a Mustang yeah. Mach-E. They should have just made it a completely They could have called it they could have just called it the Ford Mach-E instead of the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Yeah. Or whatever. But I I mean, good on Ford. I actually think the new Ford electric F150 that's killer. I think they crushed it. Like that is a badass truck. Anyway. Um my dad would disown me since he's all oil and gas, but I kind of love it. Yeah, I, I mean, I think they look great. Um, I was surprised at how good it looks. I haven't driven one yet. I want to, um, but I, I, I mean, I like Ford. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Uh, oh, what? Hello from Ontario, Canada. Nice to see you wrenching again in your last few videos. Keep up the great work. Oh, yes, indeed. Thank you. There will be a lot more wrenching videos. Coming yeah, out. there is. Oh man, we have so many projects and so <laughs> little time. Uh, just a lot. Just Everybody who has been wanting wrenching vehicles, we I will admit we had a, a little bit of a hiatus on wrenching videos for a while. It was just the stars weren't aligning. It well, the problem just, is I had all my money tied up in the 5 by 9 Yeah. And then the 458 didn't, didn't need anything. So I was like, 
all everyone else's car was fine. Yeah. No one's car was broken because no one drove them. Like so, no one broke anything or did anything in all of 2020. And then 2021 hits and like everyone's too busy and they're not really driving. So yeah, like no one wanted to really wrench on anything. Um, but anyway, so then the 599 I was supposed to be my like wrenching project car, and then that just kept getting delayed because of logistics problems and getting parts. Yeah. And then. So that's why, honestly, that's why I bought the boat because I'm like, well, I'm kind of tapped out on my cash. Like I can't go spend, and I can't go spending more money that I don't have, or at least I'm not gonna spend more cash. So I was like, well, I could buy a boat for pretty cheap. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, we'll just do that. And then right as that happens, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, hey, you know what? My forfeit does need Valcar or the intake manifolds to be repainted. And then that becomes a way bigger project. Cause I was like, oh, we'll just repaint them. And now we're doing valve cover gaskets and going to clean the intake valves and just, yeah, it's going to be like a three week, four week project or something. And then right as that was happening, this guy who has the project car that we just got reached out to me and we discussed that. And so we were planning that, but it took like, I think it took about a month for us to get all that. Like, cause there was two setbacks. Yeah. Yeah. He had a, so. a personal emergency thing happened and then your family was in town. oh yeah and then my family was coming to town yeah. so we couldn't do it that week um but anyway so now we have a pro we have that project car the 599 my 458 has a bunch of stuff going on whether or not you guys like it we still have the boat and then you uh, just suffer through a couple more boat videos i'm yeah. with y'all i'm not a big fan of the boat hey it's a car that's on water <laughs> <laughs> oh I, i'm saying i feel with my people my peeps. Oh, yeah. Whatever. So suffer through a couple more boat videos, and you guys will have all the car wrenching videos you guys could ever want for a while. Probably. Well, hopefully, within the next, I'd say, month or two, the 599 will be done. I'll sell that, and then I'll have, like, enough excess cash to be able to pursue more project cars, whether or not we have, like, stuff going on. I guess the lesson there was, like, I shouldn't have gone that balls to the wall because, you know, like, I'm trying not to tie up too much cash. So, um, anyway, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. The last boat video, yeah, because it was, like, wrenching on stuff. But it wasn't just, like, uh, Sean, and my brother. That's oh. My brother. oh, why do you say I personally like the last boat? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, the boat's just a car that floats. I mean, it's a, it's a Chevy big block <laughs> with a, a boat around it. Yeah. You know, it's got all the same problem as the car, only worse because they get wet. So that's why, I mean, it's it's great for content. Also, here's the other beautiful thing about working on the boat. Parts are easy to get. Like getting a fry part is a nightmare. It takes time. They're very expensive. The boat part, I literally am like, oh, hey, look, I can drive to the boat store. And it's like, oh, here's a $20 part. It fixes all these problems. So I'm like, okay. Anyway, uh, I should let's see. Okay. Hi, got, Cheryl. Oh, oh Tim Purcell. Hey, Tim. Good evening. You could come over. You got like time. Anyway, uh, I really think your niche in YouTube has to be wrenching. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people wrenching. Um, the problem with wrenching is like, it's a hard market to get into because uh, DIY is like, I don't know. It's weird. Um, DIY videos are difficult to do as a YouTuber because they're very expensive and we're not big enough yet. So I personally have to fund with my own money, a lot of the DIY stuff. And that's been part of the problem, right? Is like, we've been, you know, showcasing my cars and my friends' cars, but like when we don't have someone else footing the bill, you know, it's difficult. And that's why this upcoming project car is actually kind of nice because I didn't have to buy the car. So I'm not fronting a whole pile of cash to make this project happen. Um, like if someone wants to do that, like here, here you go. You want more wrenching content? If someone has a car that needs a big problem fix and they want to punt it our way and fund it, we'll consider that. Like that's, yeah. you know, but like me having to front all that money is difficult. Like I, if we add up everything I've got into everything right now, we're talking multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, so like I'm tapped out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I wouldn't take touch those intake valves, leave them alone. I gotta do something. <laughs> They're pretty gnarly. <laughs> They're gross. They're horrible. 
Uh, my buddy wants to sell me his Ferrari Dino 3-way GT4 thoughts. I don't think they look that great, but it's still a Ferrari, and they're still probably fun. I've just never – I don't like the looks of them. Um, let's see. Boats are popular with car YouTubers lately. It's like y'all are building an armada. That was the other thought. So clearly I was wrong. Backfired. It didn't work. But I was like, I watch all these other YouTubers do all these boat videos. And I'm like, maybe I should do a boat video and see if it works. And it, it didn't. So anyway, it was worth a shot. Hmm. Now I'm you know, stuck. I have a boat and I got to finish it. So I'm going to film it. Um, I was a nuke in the Navy. I've had enough of working on boats. Well, I mean, your boats sink, <laughs> right? Or maybe not. Maybe you're not in the sub. You're just in one of the uh, I think you, aircraft yeah, I think carriers. I think you work for on the reactors. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> I was assuming it was a submarine, a oh. nuclear submarine. But anyway, uh, Michael Martin down here in San Antonio. Hello. Thanks for your help trailing my th – oh, yeah, your 84 308 QV out to Austin. You demand a true Ferrari enthusiast. Thank you. When and, did you do that? Uh, that was like a month ago. I didn't film it or anything. Oh. It was, it was, uh, I didn't get that memo. <laughs> well, this is before you were involved. I've been here about a month. It was before It'll you. be a month on Sunday. It was before you were involved. Man, what a month. Yeah. No, he just needed his car to get up to Austin to get work done. Ah, I gotcha. So it was like, all right, I'll do it when one of these days when I go down to work on getting sick stuff. And yeah, anyway. Uh, eight liter engine. Yeah, I've got a 502 in that thing. It's awesome. Anyway. Uh, you can't drive to the Ferrari store. No, I mean you can drive to the like Ferrari dealership, but chances are they're not going to have the part <laughs> in stock. Um, Adam, if you don't like to motorboat, then why did you wear the cool hat? Because it was a cool hat. True. I'll wear any hat. Like when I did my Texas lawyer video, True. I had the big old orange cowboy hat. Like you give me an awesome hat to wear, and I'll <laughs> wear an awesome hat. Like I got no shame. <laughs> Tim, oh hell, on my way. <laughs> Tim's coming. Yay, Tim. Uh, I hope you bought a 355. I didn't buy anything. So you'll see uh, what it is. But um, yeah, like I said, I, it's a project car. We didn't actually buy it. It's uh, oh, the, oh, the owner of the car is retaining ownership. And then we're working on it for him, um, which works out really well for us because like, I don't have any extra money to go buy a third Ferrari right now. Uh, anyway, uh, love the boat. Yes. I personally give you guys a lot of props for your DIY and fries. Uh, if Jeff started ripping our fry apart, I might have to call our lawyer and file papers. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, like, it's still just a car. It's just really expensive. <laughs> and when you screw up, it's usually expensive screw ups. That's the problem. Uh, what about your buddy's 348? Oh, Tim, his 348's back in yeah. business. Um, we didn't film it because we didn't fix it. So he sent it off to a shop. The shop uh, fixed it. Um, they um, just did helicoil. Right? Yeah, some, I think they helicoil or they did a time cert or something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, they got it fixed and it's back on the road. Um, have you guys looked into the Amira? Oh, we were just talking about yeah. that. I think it looks awesome. It looks great. I don't know any of the specs, and I would Lotus. never own a Lotus. <laughs> That's the summary. <laughs> <laughs> but it is stunning. But I bet you if you wait, like, a couple of years, they'll probably devalue to, like, 25%. And then and then I'd consider you rocking. Want wrenching videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and, and the Lotus. supply of wrenching videos. <laughs> of course, it's all going to be wiring videos. <laughs> uh, the boat videos are great. Yes. Dan, what do you think of the F8? I love it. I think it looks great. The performance is awesome. Um, I mean, it still doesn't sound right, but it sounds better than the 488. I, I don't. I like them. I actually really think they they hit a home run with that. Uh, what's up with the F8 Spider? Fred's F8 Spider is on order. Why does it keep flickering? I know. Is it the lighter? Is it doing that camera? to you guys too? I think it's the <laughs> camera. Maybe I need to like adjust it just a touch or something. Here, I'll just do that little tweak. There, maybe it's like getting some indirect light from the light. But um, yeah, so Fred's F8 is on order, just waiting for Ferrari, excuse me, to make it. Um, so I don't know. I don't have any updates. What is the owner going to do with the project car when you get done with it? We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it on the Garage Queen. Thank you for asking. So the um, the agreement we have with the owner of the project car is. Uh, we went up there, picked it up, bring it back down here. We're going to fix it, get it running correctly, 
and then we're going to sell it and then split the net profits over any and any net product yeah any net profit over an agreed upon amount so we basically said here is the current value of the car um we get reimbursed for all the work we did on it so let's say it cost us ten thousand dollars to fix it we get paid back our ten thousand dollars and then anything over that the net profit will split 50 50. so you know like i'm going to throw out just hypothetical numbers these aren't real numbers but let's say the car was a hundred thousand dollar car and we put twenty thousand dollars into it so you've got 120 in total and we sell it for 140 that means we'd split twenty thousand net profit he would get 10 we'd get 10. of course he would get his 100 so he'd get 110 we would get 30. if that makes sense yeah um will you get carbon side mirrors in a 599. i thought it had them. oh i don't remember that was where megan was like oh they ran out of money oh. right here <laughs> <laughs> No, I actually am contemplating getting them on my 458. So if you know, my 458 has those little carbon fiber mirror caps, and I broke one of them. And I tried to order them, and they're out of stock. Like, I don't know if the company is even making them anymore. Like, everything, so like everything else in the world right now, you can't get anything. Um, I feel really bad because we have people that have ordered parts and exhausts and other things with us. And we have orders that are, we have orders from April that still haven't shipped. And I feel bad because like, they, they're like emailing me. I get emails like almost every day now, probably certainly every week. I get any emails from people saying like, Hey, is my stuff ready? And I'm like, no. And like, I'm asking the manufacturers, Hey, is their stuff ready? And they're like, Nope, we can't get parts to make it. And I'm like, great. Trust us, we process your orders. We process them within immediately. hours. Yeah, most of the time within minutes of a, of an order coming in. Yeah, it's just the supply chain right now. Like, I, I mean, I was processing orders on the road on my iPhone, which sucked. Because <laughs> when you're used to doing it on a desktop, you yeah, trying to do it on a little yeah, like phone. If the only orders that might take a few days for us to process are some of the larger exhaust orders because um, we have to actually wire the money. So like, uh, but if you buy um, some of the smaller, like anything I would say under, well, actually it depends on the company, right? Certain companies that we do, uh, that we get parts from, they demand we wire money. And so once we have a wire request, like we have to get all, you know, we have to wait for your payment to us to clear then once that clears, then we have to send set up a wire and send it to them. And most of them are in other countries, and so the wires don't necessarily process it immediately. They might take two, three days. So then they get the money after you know four or five days after you've ordered it. But um, thank you again, Ross. You were too kind. <laughs> <laughs> You're way too kind. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, what kind of project car? I haven't said yet. Is a Ferrari. We'll tell you Saturday. That. But on Saturday, 9 a.m., you'll find out. Uh, what happened to your Turo car that got taken to West Texas and abused? The BMW? Man, that's a blast for the past. Yeah, I, I'm surprised you remember that. Um, actually, eventually... That was Loper's car. So eventually, the motor blew up in it. Are you serious? Uh -huh. It was under warranty. <laughs> yeah, it spun, it spun a rod bearing or uh, really? main bearing. Yeah. It was, it was a engine? super common problem, apparently, with those BMWs. Really? Like, multiple, like many people had that happen. Wow. But it was under warranty. I mean, it was like, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Um, Yeah. That was one of Meg's best signature moments. <laughs> and they <laughs> ran out of money right there. <laughs> I'll have to, I don't remember that part specifically. I'll have to go back and watch it. Yeah, it's pretty. That was pretty funny. Uh, I have a security camera from Lorex that has been on back order for three months. I read an article that talked about how... Um, shoot uh, is it rancho suspension or whatever like for f-150s like what's the really common suspension upgrade oh is yeah it rancho? i think it, yeah something um, like that um we're like everyone and their sister who owns a lifted f-150 wants this brand of suspension lift anyway i was reading this article and i think maybe i was talking to someone yeah i was talking to someone or, i don't know anyway this article said they were running like six months behind six months that's for an F-150. Which like, is the most sold vehicle in the world. Yeah. It's like, holy crap, you can't get anything right now. I mean, 
it, it is true across like not just car parts. Like Meg and I ordered wallpaper for the baby's room three months ago. <laughs> it's still not here yet. We're like the baby's gonna be here before. No, yeah, and they were like, oh, it's like when we placed the order, it was like, oh, it's only gonna take two to four weeks. Two to four weeks go by. I emailed them, hey, just check in. Like, oh yeah, the manufacturer is backed up. They said it'll be next month. So then the next month comes. Same thing. Email them. Hey, any word on this? No, it's back, it's still on back order. We don't know when's the ship. I'm like, cool. So we'll probably have a baby and the baby room won't be done. <laughs> anyway. Moving to Austin on Saturday? No kidding. From where? From where? And welcome to Austin. And uh, there's a, well, so full disclosure, there is a lot of car stuff, but right now it's kind of like not really. For some reason, it hasn't picked back up yet. Yeah. Like prior to COVID, there was like car stuff every week. Like no, guaranteed, you if you want to do car stuff every Saturday, you can do car stuff. Um, right now, it's kind of scattered. There's still some car stuff. It's just not happening as much as... Anyway, I'm sure it'll pick back up. When do you become a dad? Will Adam fill in? <laughs> uh, next month is uh, Megan's due date. So uh, just so you guys know, Mousetrap actually had an idea. I'm going to run this by you guys. He, what, I don't even remember what it's called, but like a lot of offices do it when, when someone, like a coworker, is pregnant. They have where you like, um, you, you know, have a, um, like a chart of the month and you say, you know, like you buy a square or whatever. And then you have like whoever gets the right birthday wins half the pot or something. I don't know. So we were thinking like, what if we did something where like when you got, I don't know, like we could do something where people do something and maybe they win a, a normal guy t-shirt or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, did the baby furniture arrive at least? No, <laughs> none of it. <laughs> Actually, the only, the only basic, like, so we've gotten some of the, you know, bigger baby things that we needed. Um, one of them was this thing that was like really expensive that Megan really wanted. And I went on Craigslist and found it used here in Austin. And I was like, oh, sweet. And it was like half price. So I bought that sucker immediately. Oh, moving from San Antonio. So not too far. Yeah. Well, you'll like. Austin more than San Antonio. There's definitely more car stuff in Austin than San Antonio. Um, what car are you bringing? Yeah, that's the bigger question. You're moving to Austin. What type of car do you have? It says a Tacoma. Hey, there. Oh, Tacomas oh, hey. are. Actually, there's a huge group of Toyota Tacoma people here in Austin. So, um, Meg's classic moment. For for me, was when she was test driving a Ferrari and totally got the stoplight. She bought it with her porn money. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I do remember that. That, yeah, was, that was funny. That was epic. I don't know. I don't count my porn money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> a birthday pool for the baby. Yeah, something like that. Um, where you like buy a square and then whoever gets the right day gets half the pot. Yeah. Yeah, we could do something like that. Maybe we could throw in like a t-shirt or, I don't know, something. I don't know, whatever. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. We I'll got autograph it. So her birthday or her, the, the due date. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love to support the channel. We appreciate that you support the channel. We do. Um, so the due date is uh, one month and one day from today. So it's August 16th. So, like, I guess... We'll have to, you know, so basically we got a, close to a month. Oh, that's Tim. I need to, um, oh, I was going to just unlock it from my phone, but I can unlock it from here. One second, Tim, I'm unlocking the door. Hold on. Hold on. There it goes. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> the magic button. The magic button. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How much fry stuff do you have for the baby? Oh, uh, actually a decent amount. <laughs> We've got some fry hats, some fry shirts. Yeah, oh it no! Just increased. It just increased. <laughs> Tim that? just brought a fry thing. Oh, is this? Oh, drop the thing. Oh, it's a a fry onesie. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find one in your size. <laughs> I, I would rock one so hard. Are you kidding me? 
a onesie? Oh, I'm, a, I'm an adult a onesie. onesie. Oh, John my entry to the birthday you? pool. Tell him, tell Tim I was an ELT. Oh, yeah, cool. What's the ELT? That's an electric nuke. Oh. He was a surface. Oh, so he was playing with the stuff. Uh, oh, hold on. Mouse says, no, you can't do money. Make a draw for the person to have the right day. Oh, you can't do money? Why not? Thought, hey! Whoa. You got to calm down. I know I'm excited to see you. I thought that's how I usually did it, where you like you buy a square, right? On what? Oh, on Look at those baby things. Oh, we're doing a baby drop? Is oh. that what it's called? Oh. Yeah. I thought we guessed the birthday. Or well, yeah. we were just trying to think of, like, so Mousetrap you suggested. You hours. Hours? Because yeah, like, oh, like 24 uh, squares. Oh, so you divide it up into like. Or uh, you could double it every 30 minutes because, I mean, the due date, that, I mean, it's going to be within like three, four days, probably so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you do. Make sense to well, cool. Maybe you do like a six hour window. You could buy a six hour window or three hour window. And narrow it down, get more people to play. That's true. I don't know how many people want to play, though. Like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Does a bunch of people want to play that game? I don't know. Like, <laughs> I guess I don't know. Yeah, I mean it could be fun. Well, so like I don't. I traditionally the way I've seen them done is like you buy a slot, whatever that slot is. Maybe mm -hmm. it's by hour. I think you might be right. I've seen it by like. And then if you do it by hour, that'd be twenty four. And then you could slide that day to day, so it doesn't really matter what day it is. Oh well, I mean I thought the way I've seen it done is you have like if if the expected day is the sixteenth, then you go plus and minus like two weeks. And you can buy a like a day. It might work too. And so like obviously everyone wants as close to the expected due date as possible. So if you throw a bonus in there, do you get Meg's personal cell phone number? She'd be like, Don't push! Don't push. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming up in three minutes. <laughs> Sweepstakes lot. Well, no, this wouldn't be through YouTube. I would just do it on my website. As your Texas lawyer. I say we should just do a giveaway. No money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like lawyer. I guess we could just have people <laughs> sign up and then we'll just give something away. And they'll get credit. Yeah. Well, I'll have to set something up. I bet there's a way to like. I bet there's a. I'm, I'm willing to bet. Choice of a, t a normal guy in a t-shirt or something. Yeah, yeah. A normal guy t-shirt. Maybe like a sign something or an autograph something by Mo. Yeah. <laughs> like a paw print or something. Paw print. Yes, I said Mo. Yeah. Anyway, we'll figure out something. Oh, no, 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 none of that. No, no barking. Well, we'll figure out something. We got about two weeks to figure it out. Um, yeah. Oh, Adam, you need to buy the baby some Porsche stuff. Why? So he can burn it? <laughs> I'll just so he can wipe his ass with it. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, he's burning the Porsche one thing. Don't put on the diaper. <laughs> Drop a deuce right in that thing. Oh, someone was asking earlier, how's your car? It's good. Um, everything's working great except for the air conditioning. Oh, yeah. But who needs that in Texas, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's running really well. I drive it every weekend, at least once a week to work. Oh, did you know you know about the project car, right? Don't say what yes. it is. Yeah, okay. I, I'll, I was going to, before I came over, I was going to ask you if you saw or if you announced it. Did no, we have not announced it. Saturday. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm making them all jealous right now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I'm getting a little chub here. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah. That is very cool. Yes. Is it Adam's right now? Yeah. It is. Okay, I was hoping to see it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start right so you can come by. Oh, you know I will. Oh, Tim, the incredibly nice man who delivered my donated cat food. Thanks again, Tim. Yes, they were very happy. And they said, thank you, thank you. They couldn't believe that I was bringing high-quality cat food there. Oh, no, engineering, lab tech, radiation, and chemistry. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, sure. Yep. They oh. do all the chemistry for the uh, reactor to make sure it's running within parameters and stuff. That sounds like a job I don't want. Yeah. He, he's obviously, there's some serious he's obviously very outside, intelligent. Though. Yeah, yeah, you, you weren't. It sounds like you're not a dumbass. That's what it sounds like to yeah. me. Oh, someone says hi, Mo. Mo, 
So I was just like, I stop moving and need to zoom in the reflection on the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it reflecting off his glasses? Oh, that's funny. I was, uh, I was aware of that. I kind of kept it killed it down. I was like, man, I don't think it was. Oh, Dan, just wanted to see I used your garage door install video to put aside my anti. Woohoo! Aren't they nice? I really like it. Now that now that it's like sorted and working correctly and I don't have any problems with it. Oh, I love it. It's so quiet. Yeah, I'm a fan. I am never not going to have a side bump. Anyway, um, do you have any ETA on how long the 509 project will take to finish? I love that series. Hopefully a month, two did tops. That, did you get that last part? Yeah, we did. We have cool. all the parts. Nice. We have all the parts. So now it's we have a, um, a time problem, which is right as the 509 parts arrived, all the rest of the 430 parts arrived for us to make kits. No. <laughs> so here's the problem. Uh, I need Art's help to do the 599, but we also need Art to help make the 430 kits. So would I rather have Art make my car so I can sell my car or make the kits so we can start kits. selling kits? kits. I, I kind of want him to sell kits. Yeah, because you're gonna make you're gonna make money on those too. Oh, we've got yeah, we've got Almost a million dollar dollars in kits. So it's like, yeah. Oh, big old of, negative bank I thought, I thought of a new project we might undertake too. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Um, oh, by the way, did you know that Tim is manufacturing parts for the 348 that are for yes, sale? Somebody asked him to talk for, about it. They're for sale on our website right now. Um, they're they're actually not for sale yet because we want oh. to get the inventory in. Oh, but I well, guess have on our website. The part oh. numbers on there. Yeah, so well, it's percent, the greatest I mean, part number of all time. If, if y'all y'all don't mind parting with your money right away, then you can order them on Dan's website, normalguysupercar.com. <laughs> but uh, full disclosure, they won't be in. They're supposed to be shipped this Friday, hopefully, for the manufacturer. And then uh, we have some minor stuff that we do to them to get them ready to oh, sell. Prepare yourself, from my experience with manufacturers. Yeah, it's, that, that's why I said it's <laughs> supposed to be Friday. So far, yeah. I don't think a single time we've had manufacturing ship on time. Actually, correction, this last order of 430 parts, the last order, up like 40 they short up early. Yeah. That never happens. I know. We were, especially going through customs. Well, yeah. gr granted, it took longer than expected, just the quote. Like, this is the quote they gave us was way longer than they originally said. But, like, you know, we placed <laughs> the order, and it's like, oh, well, it's actually going to take this long. Right, fine. So they, like, they said it was going to be... July 9th was the ship out date, and they shipped out on the second or third. Oh, nice. And they got in, and then they said, oh, you should have them by the 12th, and they got in on the. Was like, it was the Friday we left, or yeah. before we left. Whatever it was, last Friday? Yeah, yeah anyway. The 12th, I think. So like, they, they came in early. But yeah, anyway. so the newest no, idea, really cool, idea, and I need input yeah. from the world on this to see if it's economically viable. Is uh, for the 348 and 355 Targa models. Okay. Us tall people have a real problem putting the seat, uh, taking oh, the roof you. off because it goes behind you and you don't have any leg room. So um, Ferrari actually made a foldable um, top for oh. way back, but they're like three grand and up if you can find one now. So if there's enough demand, and, and I really one. and yeah, and so. Um, there were a couple aftermarket companies that made them back in the day. I've read that one of them was just seriously janky, <laughs> and none of them were rated for over 100 miles an hour. Oh. So I know I can come up with the engineering for that. I will, if there's enough interest, I will produce them, and I will personally put it on my car and do over 100 to verify that it's good, and then you can buy them. I have no doubt that you would do that. <laughs> yeah, that's not even I don't. Challenge. I don't exactly <laughs> worry. We, we might even test it to... 150, 160. I mean, come on. Can your yeah. car go that fast? It's not a Porsche. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so y'all let me, you know, it, it would be foldable and fit on the parcel shelf behind you. Just oh, like that'd be cool. And then you retain all your leg room. And then if it rains or you get hot, you toss Dude. the lid on it. I mean. And then there's also, uh, I've heard demand the for question like, is like, what 308s would be... and 328s. Yeah, yeah. Well, the question would be, how much could you sell one of those for where people would want it? You yeah. Know? So y'all, that that's the input I need. What would you pay for it? For it would be quality waterproof canvas top, and then like me just thinking about 
Ferrari owners and what convenience that has. I'm thinking like if it can be done somewhere around like four to five hundred bucks, which I don't know if that's even possible to make yeah. it for that cheap. Yeah, because I'm gonna. Have if to it was like that cheap, then no question people would buy it. If yeah. it's getting closer to a thousand, I mean, yeah. I, I personally would still. Bob. I like for me knowing because I like Targas, and but six four, it's yeah. very appealing to me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm I have uh, sun problems. Yeah, my my. Solar panel on on the roof is uh, exposed to high temps and has problems. Yeah. Anyway, so y'all let me know what you think. Um, if you're interested as a 348, 355 owner or 308, 328, I'm open to that too. Um, and tell me what you would yeah. pay for it. Oh, someone asked, uh, what is your next project after the boat? Don't I'm know yet. Sure, yeah. We have what we break between now and then. Yeah, yeah. So we well, so I mean, I personally, if the boat project goes well we'll probably do another boat like i'm with but i don't know if i would i don't know if i'm gonna keep filming a whole lot of the boat stuff on the channel because just do it as a side thing. i might just do it because i enjoy it like i'm i'm i personally really enjoy working on the boat because it's so simple it's just so Everything's easy accessible. oh my god it's like oh you need to get in the engine there you go oh you need some wiring just crawling you know it's like right there so, it's, it's not like Oh hey, I want to change the oil on it. Well, step one, jack it up, pull off the under tray, put it back on the ground, put it back up on the ground, then do this, then do that. You know, it's like or I need to change my alternator, so I have six hours of intake removal. Yeah, I'm debating if I should change that. That might be worth it. I know. Now, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, uh, after the boat, um, obvious project is the one that you just got. Yeah, well, well yeah. that's that's five nine nine during during the boat. that's most of the summer. It's more. It's not so much after the boat. It's more of after the five nine nine. Once the five nine nine sells. Then I'll buy another project yeah. car. Um, with the when the boat sells, like I already talked to Ven. Ven and I already like, let's do a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm seeing a lot of love for the boat in this. But these are like these. So these are the I people, guess people who are watching this. Are they're the, more of like our fans. Yeah. You know, the problem is. I was gonna say, where are y'all in the comments on the boat? Yeah. Because like it's nothing. So like here's the problem, right? Like, you you always get it's like. Thank you guys for watching, by the way. This is not like bitching about it. It's you get the core, like we've got a core group of people who really watch the channel. Like mm -hmm. almost anything we put out, they're like, I want to watch it because they they're they're interested and in, in, involved or you know, they really care about the channel. Then there's people who just watch it because it's got, you know, these are the drama videos. Okay, I want to watch those. Or these are the DIY videos, so I'm only gonna watch those. Or these are the whatever type of videos, and they only watch certain types of videos. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like, you know, and obviously like drama is the best seller. Yeah. Like it's the most universally appealing because everybody loves Clay. Right. So like CNC, yeah. the CNC videos are drama. People who aren't even car people will watch those. The cop video. The cop video. Yeah. yeah people right. who aren't even car people will watch cops because oh, the supercar getting pulled over by the cops. Ah, <laughs> you know. Anyway. Um, all right, there you go. What is the next Ferrari Gate Six is going to make a kit for? Um, probably six twelve, or the five seventy five. Actually, I'd say the five seventy five because uh, we've already had lots of five seventy five people want them. Um, yes, Rachel. Adam has the best tool. Uh, uh, the, further up, she asked who had more tools. He probably has more tools, but I have a lift, so that does kind of help. Trumps everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, here in Minnesota, we had a Ferrari dealership open or well, in a month or so. That's cool. Uh, we're, I'm assuming Minneapolis. It's got to be there. Uh, idea for baby funds. See if for Cami or other sponsors will match up to a certain amount. Say 1500 for example. All your viewers donate to fund sponsor matches whatever you raise. I mean, here's the problem I've had with sponsors. Most of my sponsors really don't want to just part with cash. <laughs> yeah. They're like... Hey, you want some parts? Cool, you know that sort of stuff. But like, so, like, actually, just I'll just lay this out there. All of my sponsors, of all of them, and I've had, I'm gonna say, 30, 40 sponsors now. One has ever paid me in cash, and that was Shell, which and, is a billion dollar corporation. Right, and they <laughs> paid me in cash plus gas. Like they gave me free gas cards. So even they weren't like straight cash. <laughs> so, um, but like everyone else gives me parts or whatever. 
and then I do affiliate deals. And so when I sell products for those companies, I make money off of it or I sell their actual products, which actually I like that the best is when I actually sell their products because then it's mutually beneficial. It's not just like me trying to like, hey, you guys should go buy this thing from them. It's more of, hey, they gave me this thing. I really like it. Now you can buy it from me and we both will make money. So I like that the best. Yeah. Um, anyway, canvases are expensive. Everything's expensive. <laughs> Woo, you're gonna take that hit on the Porsche from it. Uh the hit on Porsche from uh him, Adam. You need to come back on that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Adam always giving crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. The boat project has been so cool. Yeah. Thank you. I love that. If you're running a lithium battery in your fourth bait, you should consider replacing it because it makes the alternator oh. run real hard. Um, uh, I don't think that's true at all. Actually, uh -uh. how would that charging is charging? Yeah, charging is charging. I don't think the resistance would hit the no. the alternator. In fact, uh, it might take longer to recharge because of resistance, but it wouldn't make the alternator they, really I work mean, any harder. I guess the theory is like the lithiums have a higher voltage at rest naturally. So the, so the alternator, so the alternator is working a little harder? I don't know, but I don't think I mean, it's still spinning. No? I don't think that's Oh, true. because the alternator reach, Yeah, maybe. Uh, I, don't I don't know that it would be enough to... to yeah. yeah, but does the alternator really fluctuate how much it's producing, or is it just and constant? The voltage regulator takes care of all Yeah, it's just a constant yeah. rate, right? Yeah. So I don't think that's true. And they're know. spinning fast enough. I'm not, I'm not an electrical engineer. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Someone where's, who where's yeah, where's the new? Where's yeah, the new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if the price of a target top is the same as a regular price of top, it's a shoe in since plenty. Need a replacement eventually, true. Yeah, no, those um, hard tops are expensive. And a foldable replacement is a premium upgrade. Oh, monster up again. Please, Dan, for your safety before planning too far, please clear everything first with the boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually already did talk to Megan about doing like a, when you first emailed me, I actually showed her that email and she said, Yeah, that, that sounds like a fun idea. So she's in. We just got I think he's talking about the bow. Oh, you're talking about that? I'm pretty sure. I thought he was talking about his I oh well no. If you're talking about the boat, yeah, well I don't I don't go buy anything that big without telling Megan. Are you kidding? I would not have my testicles if I did that. They would have been removed. <laughs> um, what was the best way for you to improve SEO? More comments or more likes? Uh that's a good question. I would say probably hmm, I don't know that I can define that. Both help. I know that. So if you have a video and you get a lot of thumbs ups, that helps. If you have a video and you have a lot of comments, that also helps. What if you get a lot of thumbs down? Actually, like you're getting views. Still that helps, actually right? helps. Yeah. So, but you, don't go. Don't, yeah. Yeah, don't help us. <laughs> don't be that guy. So, so yeah. it's considered interaction, right? So, so YouTube's algorithm rewards interaction. So actually, you know what? Um, I think next week is going to be like. 400 I know, right? All right. <laughs> so I never said that. I screwed that one up. Um, no, actually, the thing that I think YouTube, when they kind of read their algorithm, the thing that helps the most is uh, long engagement. So if you watch the whole video through, that helps more than anything. Because then it says, oh, people are really interested in this video. They're not just skipping around, right? Like if you watch the whole thing start to finish or the majority of it. So like uh, um, that helps a lot. And also the click through rate. So if you see one of my videos come up as a suggested video and you click on it and then watch a lot of it, that is probably the single highest reward thing that YouTube puts in their algorithm. So I can see that like the, the CTR, when the CTR is like above 25% when I get like a cop video or something like that, it's going viral. Like if I get a, uh, like most of my videos, when they first come out, start off maybe around like 15% click through rate and then they fall down to 10 pretty quick. And then they're down to like five mm -hmm. by the end of the first day. And so like, that's kind of like a normal video trajectory, but like viral videos, like my police videos, when I put those out, they start up at like 25, 30%. I even had them all the way up to like 40% click through. Wow. And then those ones just stay high and you can see as soon as the click through rate falls to about like 10%, the video is like, it, it's done. Is that because um, YouTube stops putting it up as a banner on everybody's stuff? Yep, 
as soon as it kind of as yeah. soon as its click through rate falls too low, YouTube says, "Okay, people aren't as interested anymore." Richard's here. Richard. Richard. Dude, look hey. at this mustache right here. This thing is gorgeous. It is right here. It's Actually, filling in more and more. Need to fill in on that on your uh, <laughs> on the port stop, port side. Your right starboard's here. looking good. Yeah, it's not perfect. I'm going both terms for Richard. <laughs> uh, set the live Talton style. How much can we raise in two hours? Bring your wallet and let's show up to the new addition to the family. It's possible. Yeah, I, I the only thing is I don't want to like. Sounds terrible. And I'm using the wrong words, but I don't want to like whore out my kid. You know, like I don't want to use my kid <laughs> to generate money. Like I feel bad doing that. But um, anyway, yes, do 575, please. If I can find my dream 59, I also would look at 575. A gated manual 575 would be sweet. Hell yeah, it would. Um, yeah. That's already on the list. Like we've already got people that have shipped a 575 to gated six. So that's already going to happen. Um, Let's see. If a can gives you free parts, find out what parts Josh needs at a shop and sell them to him at a discount. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be mean. Oh, man. Let's see. Not the boat plane after 599. Oh, yeah, yeah. After 599. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. Uh, likes help push the video. Yeah. So, like, all of that stuff's good. Like, likes, comments, click through rate, all of that. The more you can do, the better. And we appreciate it. Um, yeah. Let's do a racing airplane next. Racing airplane? Little Formula One airplane? Oh God! Like you're talking about RC or you're talking no. a real airplane? Oh yeah, a real one. I I don't want to touch an airplane. I am not doing anything that flies. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we can't legally do that. You have to have an AMP to do that. Yeah, I'm not touching it. I don't really? have an AMP. Uh, uh, I never had one. We don't need one. In the oh, military. the military. Well, I figured you would have got it to pad your resume. I can't imagine the amount of Silas. I think commercials. I mean. I've CLS. watched CLS commercials I've watched trying to help you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your wife's probably like, enough. <laughs> uh, uh, Mo, Mo really loves Tim. I can't believe how excited he seems. Most videos, he's always sleepy. Yeah, you know, like Mo loves – anyone that comes over, Mo is going to give him a lot of attention for a while, and he particularly likes Tim. So. Yeah. No, even since I got him, so. Tim always gives him peanut butter. Uh, don't go near schools or playgrounds, Adam. <laughs> yeah. I don't like uh, kids. I'm not going anywhere near. Oh, uh, so it's like mustache close up. <laughs> I know. And Master uh, says, please get back way too close. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, you, I, I have this because you guys wanted it. I had it shaved true. off. And everyone was like, oh, where's the mustache? Where's the mustache? Lessons were learned. Don't face. listen. Do you know not to listen to these people? <laughs> They're doing it for laughs. Yeah. I mean, come on. You Let's know. see if this idiot will really yeah, do exactly. it. Let's see what we can make these dumbasses do. <laughs> oh, he fell for it. Uh, oh, there's Richard. Now you're missing Loper and Fred. True story. Uh, that mustache would have been what is scared of would even scare a gynecologist for a grizzly bear. Oh my god! Oh, wow. Who said that? Carrie. Carrie, you're my hero, dude. You took it to a whole new level. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Let's see. Video of Meg putting a car seat in a Ferrari. A million hits. I mean, I don't think it would. Like, you know, but I'm not opposed to it. I got a 40 inch screen. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> so your, your mustache was like two and a half feet long. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man. Too funny. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, good times. Stu, where's Stu? I don't know. Stu's disappeared. He He's did, engaged now, though. He's probably yeah. yeah, he did get engaged. We'll have to... Now that it's official, he probably can't tune in anymore. <laughs> I, I have to say, I actually want to do a review on his 360. Now it's done. I think it looks fantastic. It, it does. does. No, I mean, full credit, man. He deserves it. Yeah. It looks fantastic. It looks so good. It's still too loud, though. <laughs> I actually, you know I what? Now I've done some decibel stuff on the cars. We need to, like, do some, oh, it, it, your meter's going to read effing loud. Yeah, it's just, it's just like error. So we did the uh, FCA um, thing in Stu's neighborhood for the 4th of July, the parade. Yeah, yeah. Candy for the kids. Oh, no. And so Jeff was behind Stu. Oh, no. We hadn't gone a mile, and Jeff pulls over. I thought he had problems. I pulled him next to him. I was like, everything all right? He's like, I can't follow that effing thing. That's how I was. <laughs> when we were in 
Colorado. Yeah. We were ripping through the mountains, and he was like, I passed him one day in that dinner that night. He was like, why did you pass me? Were, was I going too slow? I was like, no, your car is way too loud. I couldn't stand it. You know what's the problem? I can't hear my own car and know when to shift. Yeah. I've it's hard. It. So we were going through the country club neighborhood over there. Oh, yeah. And uh, some kids on the right are like, yeah, yeah, really, really. Really. this poor old lady about oh, 70 was no. walking on the left side. And she's right, like, even with the back of his car, oh, no. uh, maybe 10 oh, feet man. away. And he redlined that thing. That poor lady jumped out of her skin. <laughs> I had a laugh, though. Uh, so, actually, uh, I have an interesting project that I didn't talk to you guys about that I bought earlier today. Adam knows about this. Do I? Yes. So, uh, we've been talking about, like, what's a video that we could do and how could we do it? Anyway, um, I'm trying. I was trying to think of like how can I get more content for you guys and I'm more DIY I'm stuff. No, about right now. You'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so I thought to myself, uh, when we did the exhaust video for the 458. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. So when we did the 458 exhaust shootout, we were missing some exhaust brands, right? And we don't know anyone that has these exhaust brands. So I said to myself, what if I buy those exhausts? At least the ones that I sell, so I can buy them at my cost, put them in my Ferrari, in my 458, film the exact same parameters we did the other exhaust, so then we could compare them, and then I'll take and buy another exhaust, and then sell that one, and just yeah, in that way we can hear more of these exhausts, and so it's a good price, on it's, it? and I'll it sell it, exactly sell it for getting. you know close to what I paid, so then I'm not out a ton of money. And someone gets a good deal on exhaust. We get to showcase good exhaust. Yeah. And we compare them with all the others. Fred Who's showed up. Exhaust? Fred's here. Fred. Right. Fred. Right when we're about that. Right. Right. Right, right at the it. end. Jeez, Fred. I will do an extra five minutes for. Fred. Yeah, we'll give an extra five <laughs> minutes. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I just today ordered another exhaust for my four five eight. Not that I don't like my S line. I love my S line, but I wanted to be able to compare more exhausts. So I bought an exhaust. It's supposed to be here in a couple weeks. So can you tell us what it is? Sure, top speed. I've heard, but yeah, I sell a lot of the top speed stuff. People love the top speed F430 headers because they're basically the cheapest on the market, and they're actually like good. <laughs> they're actually good. Oh, speaking of headers, did you see those that Josh had? Oh, when he was oh comparing them. Oh my god! Them? Yeah, yeah. They're like one set was about a half inch shorter than the others at the flanges. Yeah, and then one of them was wavy. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I mean you. That would suck to buy a set of headers and then have to go have a mill. That happened to Stu. It's happened to a lot of people. Uh, I everyone. I'd be embarrassed to sell something like that. I mean, people think that like just because it's Ferrari and it's expensive that everything's good and it's not. Dude, I've got the cheap solution. Freaking four exhaust gaskets and crank clamp it down. <laughs> <laughs> Just you would. stack them up. Oh my god. Uh, That's some like Honda Civic <laughs> high school stuff. Bunch <laughs> <laughs> of RTV and freaking four gaskets. You're good to go. Uh, do we have a ton of Ferrari owners who watch your videos? I wasn't expecting so many people who would work on their own price. Yes. Um, I, there is a very significant number of Ferrari owners that watch. The videos. Um, I think the the biggest tell for me is when I go to like big Ferrari events. Like uh, when I went to the national event. I think, geez, I guess it was two years two ago. Years ago now, yeah. Wow, uh, so two years ago. It was right after you got the four five eight. You took it on the road trip. Yeah, yep. So I took the four five eight on the uh, road trip. Oh my God! Look who's here. Jeez, oh. man. Uh, hey, Stu the up. devil. Stu showed up. <laughs> we thought destiny had you locked away. <laughs> so I, I swear, one of you must have texted the others. Yeah, they all texted. They all like, oh, get on here. We're talking about you. <laughs> Still, we were just talking positively about your car. It'll never happen again. Yeah. I you know. missed it. You missed your chance. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's yeah, everyone. He got, it, he got recognized that uh, Porsche thing in. Indiana. Oh yeah, when we were at this is on Monday. Yeah. yeah, so when we were in, we went to the uh, pick up the project car uh, on Monday. We went to a Porsche event that just happened to be in the area, and so we're wandering around, and this Porsche guy's like, and Man. he worked for Porsche Cars North America too. Nice, yeah. that's a good contact. Yeah. Yep. 
Just trying to hook us up with a GT3 car. Oh, that'd be right. nice. That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah, me too. See, look at so, that. So maybe next week everybody can come over and Rachel can bring over some blueberry pie. Yes. Oh, man. Like she said, we can have Richard and Stu and Fred can Fred come on over. Fly out. Come yeah. on, Fred. Yeah. Come out. Actually, correction. No one should be coming over and planning that because <laughs> we're only a month away. And yeah. So I, I have a, a mandated moratorium on travel for the next two months, just so everyone knows. I am not going anywhere. Um, Meg has a lot. She said, I can still go to San Antonio because it's only an hour and a half away. For the, for another week. Uh, I don't do uh, no, peaches, no, Rachel. I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> well, like, last I, week she made a peach, and I was like, no, I'm not. I don't do peaches. Oh, anymore. my God. I do. Rachel, I'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anything. I'll admit, I actually don't like peaches, but I eat it because everything she makes is so yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, I've had a couple of peaches uh, brought over it. Uh, oh, any updates on my car? Am I taking the valve covers off? Yes. We ordered valve gaskets, <laughs> valve cover gaskets. Um, I'm going to send them off to get repainted as long as I'm repainting everything else. The thing that's up for debate is whether or not to clean the valves. I want to. Um, the only thing that scares me, well, it's not scaring me. It's just like to do the valves, you have to be able to turn the engine to get top dead center on each cylinder so that nothing falls in. So that means we probably have to pull off the bottom panel. Can you <sighs> get to the front without dropping the motor on it to turn the engine over? Yeah, yeah, you can put a breaker bar onto the crank from underneath, um, I think. I've never had her brownies. Oh God, her brownies. She no. makes peach when I come over, Dude, but then not brownies. Like I will go to town thing. on some What's brownies. What's that cookie thing, Rachel, that you made on my birthday? That man it was like this cookie thing it had all of, it was all a mode and it was just God. i ate like probably seven thousand calories of it <laughs> <laughs> uh oh no dan don't touch them i did that to my toilet and it wrecked my engine oh well i gotta clean it somehow they're bad and from what i like I could do like sea foam or some crap, but I mean, I don't trust that sea foam is going to really get rid of that much deposit. Project Farm on YouTube, not a sponsored video. He did it, and he I thought it. it worked out fantastic. Just, dude. Well, it ran better. Just, yeah. Yeah, just pull the head. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you go down there and you <laughs> help him with that. If I'm going to do that, I mean, it's might as well rebuild the whole damn engine yeah. at that point. Pour uh, it and stroke it. It's not a shit. It's not. Shell gas is not the problem because it's a direct injection engine, right? It's so like this would not be a problem on a F430, for example, or on a port or your injected car. video. Yeah. yeah. Port uh, any of the Ferraris prior to the 458. The 458 was the first one that's uh, direct injection. Yeah. So that's the problem. It's direct injections. The valves get crap on them. Um, you know. But that's why you do use shell, so you don't have this problem if you have a regular. I bet you his injectors in that four five eight oh, engine sparkly. are. Yeah, I bet you the cylinders themselves <laughs> look glorious. It's in the bottom of the valves are like perfect. A guy on one of the three forty eight uh, forums hit me up today. He's like, "How in the hell do you get the head bolts back on? Because you remember how they oh yeah yeah where it's coming around." I was like, "Dude, a lot of manipulating and a lot of." words that you can't say around your kids yeah i gotta cut a lot of uh, content off that video yeah uh oh friend okay so he has an announcement Ooh, uh oh 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 and before he does repair, we'll someone, extend the chat for this someone had a walnut blasting carbon cleaning on his direct injection on his audi s5 how did it come out Ooh. oh it says big difference in performance I'm oh leaning, fred i am leaning toward attending to. the colorado trip please you would love it you would love it. It's going to be awesome. We only have four slots left. There's only four spots left on the Colorado trip. So And we're staying in a castle? Yeah, we are going back to the castle. King Fred. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We, I can get you a crown from Burger King, Fred, and you can wear it around the castle. <laughs> I actually... We talked about doing hey, don't that talk, last year. Don't talk shit. Terry will show up with a tiara. No. For you. Okay, so we were talking about this earlier. Any hat, I'll wear a hat. I'll wear a tiara. Bring it on. Give me Someone a tiara. Ship a tiara. <laughs> <laughs> I have a PO box. You can open a big door. <laughs> yeah. 
Stu, look at if Fred comes, <laughs> Stu might come. Oh my gosh. If you two, you two need Richard's already coming. Carrie's all like, I can't. I understand. Carrie is, yeah. I get it. He's got as it. much as I want. Carrie I want to give there. him. I want to give him crap, but I'm like, okay, you have a real excuse. Yes. When is it? Uh, September. I'm at normalguysupercar.com and look and find what's, out what's going on then. I've got my 40th reunion or that weekend for yeah. what? High school? Yeah. Do you care about those people? Yeah. No. What? I haven't seen them a lot. They're. Oh. I do. You year. need to go. No. They're, she, the way things have been going, I'm not sure I want to do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this it's been a pain in the ass. <laughs> it, well, yeah. Hey, this is your new coordinator. So here's. I, that's why I try <laughs> to actually, go still like. Because right. I want to go do it like in. Uh, here's North the problem. Right? Or so so, so here's there. the problem with doing these events. I have to front the money. So I fronted like $30,000. And then I'm chasing people to sign up. And we're two months away, and I'm still in the hole. Oh, that's not good. Because I still have four people. It's four spots. That's twenty thousand dollars. I was never mad at you, Fred. Why do you think I was mad? At you? Plus, just trying to organize all it's a ton of work. So like after all of that, if we do this all right and I get all four people to sign up, I only make a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> so it's like it doesn't even pay for yours hardly. Yet. No, barely. Barely pays for it. It pays for, like yeah. Oh. So it's a ton of work. And not that many people watch the videos, so the videos don't do well unless like something bad happens, which I don't want to happen. Oh, speaking of bad stuff, I'll ask you. Go ahead and finish. Yeah. Ask you so it's that. just like it's it's fun. It is fun. That is why I'm doing it, right? Like I'm doing it because I enjoy it, and I think everyone else enjoyed it. I'm not doing it for the videos. I'm not doing it to make money because we're not really getting views, and we're not really making money. So <laughs> it's a lot of work for fun. Yeah. Adam with a tear and Fred with a Burger King crowd, the castle would be an amazing photo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, that would be man. great. So, did you ever hear from uh, the 812 crash? Shh. We're not supposed to talk about that. Oh, we're live, you dingus. Dude. <laughs> God. I, I Get no, out. I mean, this is something we talk about. A Strike that from the that, record. That, that, what he said did not happen. No one said anything. We're not talking I, about that. Dummy. Dude. I had no idea. Sorry. Oh, crap. Now we got tech. Mo. FYI, CNC building has been sold and rented to Tesla as a sales service shop. What? Yeah, nice. Not to text some people. <laughs> Look what you did. <laughs> I may have some damage uh, control. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what it is? Is we went late, and bad things happen. When you yeah, we're like Fred's fault. <laughs> Almost 15, yeah, it's all actually it's all the clowns' fault. They all showed up at the last minute. We were supposed to be done it twelve minutes ago, and uh, like then I dropped the bomb. And then Stu shows up, and he's like, "I'm here." And then Fred's like, "I'm here." And then everyone's here. Jeez. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, I am a king. I may have to bring my scepter. <laughs> I will not wear Tierra if Stu is king. Only Fred. Fred will only be. Fred is the king only Fred. man who can that be my king. That sounds good. Though. King Fred. King, king Frederick. What? King Frederick. Frederick. Fred is my only king. <laughs> How do you think you're now on turbo? Queen. Your ladies do do an awesome job, Stu. They were there today at my house. Oh. Oh, he is the king of clean. <laughs> That's true. That's funny. Bye, Rachel. Have some Bye, killer Rachel. snacks next week, uh, like brownies. Yeah. Brownies sound amazing. Oh, real quick. How do you think your 911 Turbo would differ in performance in manual versus auto and maintenance that you've done on the vehicle looking at picking up a 996 Turbo? I've heard pros and cons for both. So um, performance in automatic will be similar. I don't think it will be just as good. But, I mean, it's so it's not the PDK. So you're not going to have the super awesome shifts on the 996. I don't know of any major issues with the Tiptronic. Um, I don't follow them a whole lot because I don't have one and I'm not interested in the Tiptronic. Uh, <laughs> but I don't think you would have any major issues. Um, it would definitely be slower because of the shifts. Um, I think they can have a performance in manual versus auto. And that have you done the vehicle. Uh, as for maintenance, the slave. Uh, cylinder for the clutch is a little problematic, but other than that, I haven't had any real issues. Definitely recommend it. Oh, Fred said he's buying a parts washer for the shop. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. We take out that many parts that 
need to be washed. <laughs> yeah. But I think we uh, should probably start wrapping yeah. up. Uh, we went 15 over. It's only supposed to be an hour. Yeah. We're trying to we're trying to intentionally cut it off a little early before we go in like late, late, late. So or people review yeah, yeah, all yeah. kinds of Jeez. <laughs> Oh well, and then they, and Mouse then trap. and now I feel yeah. bad that Mousetrap spending more money. Thank you, Mousetrap. Are you guys still going? Yeah, we're yeah. like we're winding it down. Yeah. Meg just got home. Okay. See, yeah. now it is my, now Meg's here. <laughs> the internet's um, gonna blow up, Meg. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, we'll just. I have that impact on the internet. Oh, I'm gonna be scared. Oh. Look oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Look yeah. At that. Yeah. Look there it is. Why are you okay. smuggling watermelons? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's big. It's huge. Watch out, Mom. Don't trip her. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. Uh, really an early baby. Right? Actually, yeah. I might not mind it. <laughs> yeah, so we started talking about the whole baby calendar, whatever, baby, oh. what do they call it? The bump cool. date or the baby yeah. pool or whatever? Oh, oh, you mean where you guys wanted to take bets on? Birthday. Yeah. But yeah, people do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I think uh, we could we might just like have one where people sign up and then whoever's got it like just gets free merch or something. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think anybody needs to 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 fund it. Yeah. Yeah, and plus, there's always the possibility. Like, I don't know how extensively you talked about my thoughts and your thoughts <laughs> about birth options, but oh yeah, we might. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that. Whatever. The you, topic for next week. Yeah. Well, it was, it was, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're over. Yeah. Yeah. We're basically oh, uh, close okay. up shop. Everyone's saying good night. Night, night, guys. Yeah. Good night, night everyone. Night. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can do the birth weight, too. But, yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And uh, we'll, again, next Thursday. So set your calendars or your clocks or whatever. Next Thursday, 8 p.m. Central. Same thing. We'll talk again. And uh, be ready Saturday for the reveal project of reveal. the project car. Woo! And also, I'm I surprised think, you haven't ruined that surprise for us. Jeez, too. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I think I believe <laughs> there's a real chance the Garage Queen is going live next. No, week. so no jump. That's gonna be cool too. So those, I have a uh, couple videos for that to uh, announce some of the cars <laughs> that will be for sale in the Garage Queen. So you guys are gonna love those. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Good night, and see you next week. Good night.